Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to another update on this Saturday night. It is the Earthmaster here on this end. Uh, February 17th, 2024 is the date. About 1014 here, California time, where it's nice and wet. Had a pretty decent amount of rain come in tonight, today. Uh, latest activity looks like a uh, 1.7 here across the West Coast. Did see some further movement down in the Gulf of California. Also, they're in Northern California, so let's go ahead and check out the West Coast, see what's going on out here on this Saturday night. Everything looks like it's in uh, in queue there. A little earthquake right smack dab on the southern branch here of the San Andreas Fault. Still seeing a handful of smaller quakes here uh, in the vicinity of the plate boundary just south here off the Brawley Seismic Zone and the Imperial Fault. So continue to watch Southern California here for some uh, possible movement up in the Northern California area. Uh, 3.3 coming in there, about 17 kilometers deep here into the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. On that note, let's see what's going on there. Uh, in terms of the trimmer map here tonight, uh, let's see what we got here. 266 epicenters of trimmer. Down a little bit in terms of number uh, numbers there from uh, yesterday. But uh, over the last week or so, we've seen a little enhancement there to the... Uh, uh, Cascadia subduction zone that's a trimmer activity occurring down dip that tells us right there that there's quite a bit of pressure out here against the North American plate so continuing to watch that uh, over here across the area of Texas uh, Pecos Texas still seeing some activity in our region that normally doesn't see activity it looks like things are dying down here outside of the area of Fall City Texas they did see a decent earthquake out here last night 4.7 and a handful of other quakes prior to that. So it uh, looks like things toning down, though, slightly in that area. Uh, far as the rest of the world goes, uh, got a little deep earthquake here in the New Zealand area underneath the New Zealand region. Uh, that earthquake coming in is a 4.8, 188 kilometers deep here into the subduction zone. It's, it's just off the east coast here of the North Island. We've been noticing a... Uh, a handful of deep quakes out here recently uh, into the subduction zone. It could be a, a sign that maybe things uh, could be getting ready to move upstream here. We'll definitely continue to watch that and uh, report back on anything that takes place there in the New Zealand area. Uh, as you can see, there's that 4.8 and a handful of other earthquakes out there um, with that 3.5 being deep as well. Uh, Five-pointer up around the Tonga Trench, relatively shallow earthquake. Uh, that shallow earthquake was... Uh, Kind of some movement that we've seen, uh, well, we've seen some deeper activity out here this morning of 4.4, almost 600 kilometers deep. Took a little while, but we did see the adjustment upstream there with that five-pointer coming in tonight, relatively shallow across the area. Uh, for the rest of the globe here, let's see what else is going on. Uh, not a whole lot stirring up out in Hawaii for now. Uh, still seeing some typical activity out here across the Philippines southward and kind of making a little advancement here across the Java Trench. Aside from that, not a whole lot uh, of major movement. There's some of that activity stirring up there in the Gulf of California once again. I think that could enhance some further activity upstream there across Southern California, so we'll continue to watch that. Uh, looks looks almost like a repeat of what we've seen here uh, in the last week or so with activity stirring up in the Gulf and then subsequent activity up the plate boundary there into Southern California. Handful of quakes here out uh, around the Dominican Republic area as well. Uh, looks like USGS not reporting in on that, but there is a little uh, smaller earthquake activity out there along that plate boundary. And South America, handful of earthquakes out here as well, but really nothing major going on. As uh, far as the Atlantic Ocean, fairly quiet. A little three-pointer down here in the South Africa area. And uh, some older quakes there across the Mediterranean there in the last 24 hours. Got a little earthquake way up here in Alaska. Uh, this a uh, 3.3, about 10 kilometers deep here, just off the plate boundary. Nothing major going on up there for now, but uh, still keeping an eye on things. Let's check out space weather here real quick. Uh, just going to keep this update uh, a little on the short side. Got a few things I got to do here early tomorrow, so I don't want to stay up super late. Uh, let's see here. Far as space weather activity in the flaring department, uh, moderate activity at, at best here. Some sea flare activity over the last 24 hours. Uh, most of that activity is occurring off of some far side sunspots even still. Uh, we're getting that reading there from the sea flare, uh, from the, uh, 
uh, sunspots there, indicating some sea flare activity. But with the sunspot regions that are currently facing the Earth, well, these have drastically died off, and there is not a whole lot of hope out here for uh, in terms of complexity and, and uh, some stronger solar flares. I don't see it. Everything's uh, scattering and uh, basically uh, remaining stable out there with those sunspots, and there's really not a whole lot out there. Overall threat right now still stands at 99% chance for a C flare, M flare, around 60% chance or so, X flare around 15%. And as uh, far as the auroras go, not a whole lot of hope in terms of seeing the auroras for now. Uh, storm Prediction Center out here. Uh, generally, it looks like some thunderstorm activity here uh, through the night and uh, tomorrow as well. Monday is going to be a little different story out here across the West Coast. <coughs> Probably going to be uh, out here seeing if I, if I can't find some uh, some rotating water vapor out in the skies here of Northern California. Got a decent chance of maybe seeing some tornadoes out here. Not big ones, but uh, some spin-ups out here across Northern California. I'll definitely uh, be out and about um, live streaming that on Monday. Uh, aside from that, let's look at the uh, weather models out here. Here's our current storm system shifting on by. I uh, picked up about Oh, just about eight tenths of an inch of rain, so almost an inch here uh, from the storm system. But it's the uh, it's a rainmaker tomorrow that's going to bring a little bit more uh, substantial precipitation in there to the California area with the threat of thunderstorms uh, lingering into Monday and Tuesday after that. Maybe a little dry period, but um, uh, these weather models have been in agreement so far with a colder system dropping down out of the north along with a wetter system there from the south that could uh, combine there over northern California and create some uh, tremendous snowfall out there across the Sierra Nevada. So we'll continue to watch that uh, and see how everything plays out. Uh, let's give a quick glance here at Hawaii real quick. I just want to double check. I know we didn't uh, look at too much activity out here in terms of the Hawaii movement, uh, but I do like to keep an eye on it. Um, not a whole lot of earthquake activity out here on the USGS map for now. A look at the tilt meters still shows some, uh, still shows some, uh, rising out here across the Kilauea summit. As you guys can see here, I don't know what's going on with that. Sometimes it lets me see it. Sometimes it doesn't. So, uh, this ain't a huge jump, but, uh, it is slight, uh, slightly elevated there in terms of inflation. A look at the earthquake activity. I honestly don't know what's going on with this. It's so weird. I, it's, <laughs> I don't know, but, uh, looking at the earthquake activity here, not a whole lot. Uh, we'll figure this out at another time. I'm not going to spend all night here going back and forth, clicking buttons, but, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, what else we got here? doesn't look like there's too much activity stirring up here across the live seismograph stations. Um, so it looks fairly quiet. Although, let me see here. I seen Yellowstone, a little spike of an earthquake there across Yellowstone. Uh, really not seeing anything major going on here. Let's see, Maple Creek, I think this is recent here, 0530. That is correct. About an hour there behind, but, uh, yeah, not a whole lot of earthquake activity. Earlier, um, late last night, looks like we've seen a little spike, but, uh, for the most part, things right now have generally, uh, looks like they've backed off here in terms of pressure out here against the North American plate. That could all, you know, change with adjustment, uh, a lot of times we'll see further activity out here across the Western Pacific and adjacent plates. And that uh, tends to, uh, to me, it seems like it um, alleviates a little bit of the strain out here against the North American plate. But we're not completely done. Still seeing some movement out there in Southern California. Uh, just over here in the Intermountain West regions and uh, Idaho and Wyoming, not a whole lot going on. Uh, there is a 2.6 out here near the uh, Stanley, Idaho area. Uh, up against the Sawtooth Mountain fault system here. This is the area that did see a six-pointer back in, um, I think it was about 2019 or so, I believe. Uh, we'll, we'll cover that in uh, another update. Someone was asking me why there's so many earthquakes up here in Idaho. It is uh, tectonically active. There's quite a few fault systems out here and uh, uh, quite a few mountain ranges. But uh, we'll take a look at that here in a, uh, a later update. Always like to cover... Uh, activity and events there. Uh, if someone does have a suggestion in terms of an area to cover, feel free to. Uh, uh, the best way to get a hold of me is through email, earthmastermail at gmail.com. Um, I do definitely look over the comments, but uh, occasionally I'm not able to watch 
and read all of them. So the best way to uh, get a hold of me if you have any questions there on an area that you want to see covered in an update, let us know at earthmastermail at gmail.com. And there's that earthquake here in the uh, Gulf of California. Again, this area did see a decent amount of earthquakes here. Uh, it's been over seven days now, so we have to pull up the last 30 days. It's in that same area. And last time we've seen movement like that, we've seen a little bit of swarming up here and then uh, some bigger quake activity through Southern California in the four range. Not big earthquake activity, but definitely a noticeable trend. So we'll keep an eye on that as that does look like it may be following a similar trend uh, as what we've seen here over a week ago. All right, folks, I'm out of here. Have yourself a good Saturday night. Please stay safe out there. A lot of crazy stuff going on in the world, no doubt. Uh, a little, um, what do we got? There's some S waves coming in there to the New Zealand area. Not for sure what that is off of. Maybe there's some further earthquake. Uh, actually, it looks like we had another earthquake up here around the Tonga region. Maybe a 5.1 because there wasn't... Uh, yeah, there's only one five-pointer out here on the USGS map, but it looks like there's another earthquake coming in. Either way, keep an eye on the region out here. Um, South Sandwich Islands did see a little earthquake activity out here as well. That uh, area definitely does uh, see some movement on occasion, a 5.4. I don't think the USGS covered that, did they? Negative. So, But uh, definitely some earthquake activity out there tonight in that region. All right, folks, have a good night. We'll catch you guys back here tomorrow. Uh, got a lot of flooding potential out here already. Quite a few roads closed around me just from the inch of rain that we got today. And we're expecting a couple more inches tomorrow and Monday. So things are going to get very interesting out here in terms of flooding potential here where I'm at in Northern California. So I'm going to be out documenting that. We'll catch you guys back out here tomorrow morning, though, for the Sunday morning update. Stay safe out there, folks.